what's up everybody it's nerp here and we haven't played highlander in a bunch of days so not what am i saying highlander i mean judgment judgment was what i meant to say so let's bring in the judgment today Man account because we can and there's a giant here there's a general there's decimation and a fleetness four pretty good rolls the rare rows are always pretty decent because it goes rare common uncommon the next row is going to be rare so Ducal Infantryman and Wing Soldier are pretty good here. Uh, I feel like we could raise the music a little bit. Alright, we're going to go for 15%. I'm not sure if that's too loud, but we'll see. Yeah, just, that was just uh, also showing you guys. You can actually leave the judgment screen. It's not like you're going to lose your deck. Uh, let's see. General... And down here is a veteran efficiency. I'll take the general and probably the ducal infantryman. Let's see, general. No order down here, but we'll take the ducal infantryman still. Now there's a veteran mean veteran wetland ranger sister there. I think that's our best shot right now. So let's go veteran. Um, yeah, wetland ranger sister of the bear. Um, there's a Brave down here, which is pretty good. Also, a Night Scholar, which is good. Um, Crone. Collar's Bane. I'm actually going to take the Collar's Bane, because Crone kind of sucks. So take that. This gives me growth. Uh, I'll take the Horn of Ages. It's cool to splash. Um, I looks It looks like we're more in growth, but then there's like all this random stuff down here. Like, there's energy scrolls down here. Uh... We have three growth scrolls and four order scrolls. So we have three growth creatures. I could take the Night Scholar and swing it back over, but then I want to take the Binding Root here probably. So I'll take the Brave. And there's a main duel to I'll take the Binding Root. And now we see more order. Well, we could always be in both factions. Uh, Blind Rage, Mystic Altar, Fury. I guess Blind Rage. Maybe we'll be in energy. I don't know. Uh, we'll take the Mangy Wolf just because, I guess, Wing Spear Crossman. Let's take Crossman. I feel like Wing Spear is pretty bad. 2-2-2 two, two, two for 3 with a possibility of Spiky 4. Um, hmm. I will take the... Skythorn, that could be fun sort, but then we I see good energy stuff here. I haven't ever actually used Skythorn, I don't think. Uh, we have no energy yet, so I'll take the Skythorn, the New Orders, the Fertile Soil is pretty good, and so is the Waking Stones. We're definitely more growth now, so I'll take the Fertile Soil. There's a Berserker down there too, plus a Sister the Bear over the Frost Scale here. Um, yeah, now we're doing better now, we have Vengeful Vetter. A veterans down here, a frost scales here. Here we'll take the crimson bull staying on color. Definitely veteran. There's a kinfolk yarl. That's awesome. It's also bombard and kinfolk ranger here. So it's looking much better now. Oh, uh, another veteran. Uh, underdogs, but a veteran here. I'll take the order there. Vengeance veil. What does the planish do again? Okay, so wild will be increased. Um, I don't know. I think I'd rather take the underdog spite. Maybe. I don't really have much stuff that would really benefit, though. I could go Vengeance Veil and have, like, Gabong, too. That could help. Uh, let's go with the Dougal Skirmisher, just to be safe. Pretty good scroll. Vetter, Kabonk, another Yarl. That's really cool. Um, <laughs> Righteous Partisan. Now, Dryadic Power, Crown of Strength, or Magnetizer. We might actually go Mono Growth. How much do we have? 19. No, we're not going to go Mono Growth. Actually, there's a chance. Small chance. So we're going to take Champion Ring down here. So we'll take the Dryadic Power. Um, Wildling. That's nice. Uh, how many creatures do we have in Growth? 14. We don't need more creatures we'll take the new orders champion ring wildling uh 
Gallant Defender, I guess. Faith Blessing. I guess Gallant Defender. Fleetness or Eternal Sword? I'll go with the Fleetness. Reversal. Uh, Horn of Ages. Take the Horn of Ages. Less cost. Pother. Bear Paw. Ducal Skirmisher. Callers being out, oh, that's a nice god hand. Vengeance Veil, God Hand, Kinfolk Ranger, and a rallying to finish it out. That's a pretty good deck, I think. Almost mono growth. Do we want, I know I could just click the thing to bring them on, but I'm just putting the cards I want, definitely. Yeah, I think I do want all this stuff. Scotland's pretty cool. I wish I had like an oath blood. Do I I'm not sure if I want that Meiji Wolf. We do have a lot of creatures. Two Yarls and a God Hand, that's pretty good. Um, look at that curve. Actually, not really, there's no six drop. But, Growth doesn't really have a six drop anyways. Um, Sister Vale used to be a six drop. So let's see. We have enough creatures, so I'd like to get like Utility Scrolls, like Horn of Ages and New Orders. I want, oh, Collar's Bane's cool, I think. Let's get Collar's Bane, Fleetness, Kabong. And let's put the Pother in. So we have a nice utility order scrolls. And then take out maybe the main jewel. Because we don't even have any Ragged Wolves or Red of the Wolves. So we have no other wolf besides one main jewel. So we'll take that out. So we have 15 creatures. Have that exertion. We have awesome utility scrolls for order. Um, I guess we'll just have to get to one wild and one order. And it's going to be really good. I like this deck a lot. So we'll save this as growth order. Go. Um, doesn't really matter what you save it though. Okay, guys, finally found a match. Let's see who we can who we're facing. Joe Gala. I don't think I've ever faced you. Maybe I have. Played like three thousand matches. Good chance I faced him. Um, I guess it's a good starting hand because I can go with a turn to uh, Wildling or Skythorn if he doesn't have a Ragged Wolf for me. Let's hope there's no Ragged Wolf. Well, F. That probably means he knows me. Um, so I guess we'll engage him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll move down. He might have like protection, which would be kind of, but, the, but this Shambler has two move anyway, so I would really be in danger from it. Hmm. So bear paw's pretty good to put in like a wildling. Um, I'm going to. I want to get that sky throne, but sky is really not that good. It really isn't. <laughs> I'm gonna sacrifice it, and I'll put this out. Right, so now hopefully it doesn't have protection. But it sounds weird when I say hopefully it doesn't have protection. Um, but. Let's see what happens. So he's gonna move there. Interesting, he puts it in the middle of the board. Uh, but I could frost gotta kill him, but then my thing dies. And actually, I'm just going to bear paw you. Because he can't attack me. Because he put this right here. This Meyer Shambler. Actually, what am I doing? Is it, I am kind of stupid. Actually, no. He has 50% chance of killing me. For a second, I thought he couldn't be on this route. Oh, yes. We get the 50% chance to go our way. Sadly, he languished this, but we're going to get it to attack this turn. Um, so, that's going to kill you. And let's move you up. And I want you right in the middle so you can move where you need to go. And if he doesn't have rather than protect this, we can kill it with the Wildling and the better. Rot Eater. Okay. So... Actually, a veteran wouldn't be enough for us to kill that rod eater this coming turn because we have four health. Alright, my veteran would be enough. If I get a veteran right, veteran right now, I probably won't sacrifice Yarl. Come on, give me a veteran. No veteran. Oh well. Uh, that's fine. I will go ahead and still do damage there. Um. There we go. A little extra damage so that you have three health. 
and let's see what we can do. Three things attack next turn. I might void key. That's like the ultimate wall. I can't destroy that thing. <laughs> like it's impossible for me to destroy that thing. Uh, <sighs> like a fertile soil, so I can keep that yarl. Um, yeah, all damage, combat damage dealt to Void Gate is instead dealt to the idol behind it. Wait, so would that work with Wildland Ranger's uh, pillage? I don't know. Uh, um, did I have anything in this deck that would help me out here? I have order stuff for like Pothers, but I'm not at any order yet. I'm going to Fertile Soil. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to sack for some order I'll let him take down the berserker yeah I'm actually gonna stay on row with him actually no I'm not because I want him to move away so I don't have to use the pother so he has to move away from his void gate to uh, come engage me did a ton of damage to that middle idol give him the berserker maybe I should have given up the wetland ranger I don't know I feel like wetland ranger is just awesome so I like to keep that thing around uh, let's see. Little Darkling. Okay, so we, we're going to be able to kill both of those units this turn. We don't even need the Pother. Um, I'm going to keep the God Hand, though. And I'm going to play the Sister of the Bear. I'll play it. Right in the middle. Perfect. So let's see what Joe Gala is gonna be able to do. Probably not. If we take this next turn and just sacrifice for growth. Um, oh, that's annoying though. This guy's not gonna do anything. We can take this next turn and sacrifice for growth, so the next time we can go Yarl and then God Hand, and I think that's what I'm going to do. So we'll take down an idol at least. And may as well. No, I'm not gonna take that. I'm gonna put pressure on the whole board. This way, I have two units that are going to attack next turn. Let me move you. No, you can't move. You can move through new his needle. Uh, yeah. So now, I, now whatever he puts on the board, I have something like kind of near it that could attack it. But he could put something behind the void gate, and I don't have the pother anymore. So that wasn't like super like definitely gonna work. And we. Just sack that pother. Uh, veteran, uh, it doesn't really do anything here. Uh, so I'll sacrifice the veteran and play the Jarl. Um, put him there so now at least I'm able to do more stuff. And let's put you in the back. There, we're all in good spots. So that's good. Now this, uh, this Wetland Ranger will have one attack for the coming turns. I can God Hand this coming turn and maybe win if he doesn't protect his idols. Is he gonna be able to kill that? Nope, all right, so GG. Um, what a, a rally would not win. A rally would be one idol. Actually, a rally would win because the Void Gate, but that should be GG. So we just can move him there. GG, WP. So that was pretty quick judgment match. Um, yeah. So I'll hopefully I'll get five points of this deck. And I guess that'll be it for today's video. Um, remember, leave a comment below what you want to see from me. Um, I might not see it until like a two, three, or even four or five videos in the future of that one. Because I tend to record pretty early, much earlier than they're posted. But um, yeah, he's, the meta is a little stale, so I'm not that into judgment and ranks right now. But I'll still come out with them, um, unless you guys tell me different things you'd rather see. And remember to submit your plays to me to be on Top Scrolls Plays of the Week and win some gold and be have your play featured on my channel. Um, that's about it. So subscribe, uh, rate the video, like or dislike, and give me feedback. And I will see you all tomorrow. Keep on scrolling, everybody.